Section 3.3, graph of basic functions, piecewise functions. So objective, we try to uh, sketch the graph of basic function, some standard function. And, uh, you know, uh, we are going to talk about uh, piecewise uh, defined function as well. So let's just start with the graph of a linear function, which is actually here uh, also called constant function. Whenever you have f of x equals some constant, that's actually horizontal line constant function that is also called constant function linear function with slope zero graph of a horizontal line okay so uh, another one this kind of function is called identity function when the inputs and output are the same if you want to plot uh, a graph for this kind of function you can always uh, make a table and plot the points so you can always do that x y find the points and depending on what function you are dealing with you might need uh, you know more than two points for example this is a linear function so that means a straight line so two points are enough so choose some value of x and using this formula which is y y or f of x means same thing this is same thing you can find out the y and that will give you the points so let's say x is negative one then y would be negative one so negative one negative one Let's say x is 0, then y would be 0. So it's 0, 0. Let's say x is 1, then by using this formula, y is also 1. 1, 1. Whenever you try to plot these points, whenever you try to plot these points, you are going to get negative 1, negative 1, 0, 0, and then 1, 1. And after knowing that this is a, a linear function, these three points are, are more than enough to plot the graph. So for rest of the basic function, we are going to use same technique point plotting techniques uh, but you know if it's not linear then two points are not enough so you might need five points ten points or hundred points to see exact graph which is not uh, not a big deal if you are using some kind of machine like your computer so uh, for example let's say this function is called a square function and if you do the same thing like I did here if we if you make a table you are always going to get this shape okay for example i'm just going to pick a couple of points here x y x y so remember y means this function so when x is let's say negative 2 the y value would be square of negative 2 which is 4 when x is negative 1 the y value is positive 1 when x is 0 the y value is 0 when x is positive 1 the y value is positive 1 when x is positive 2 the y value is positive 4 and keep going so when you plot these points you can see that let's say this is negative 1 this is negative 2 this is positive 1 this is positive 2 you are going to find out these points so initially you don't have this graph but after plotting these points you will see the shape and as i mentioned earlier maybe depending on what graph you what function you have given maybe those five points are not enough maybe you need more than that but after this section you should be able to know you should be able to recognize this basic function the graph of the basic function like identity function looks like this square function looks like this and then now we will keep going with the you know some other uh, graph of basic function as well the next is cubic function and then graph of cubic function look like this and you can find out this graph by doing exactly the same thing you know i did here so i'm going to skip that part and uh, next is absolute value function remember absolute value means uh, a function value whenever you are taking some points from the negative side or left side the value itself is uh, negative of that value negative of negative value Whenever you are taking something from the right side, that is itself. Okay. So what I'm trying to say is, this is negative x if x is itself negative. So for example, if x is negative 5, then the value is negative of negative 5, which is eventually positive 5. And for 0, it's 0. And for positive value, it's just identity. For it's just a positive value. For example, when x is one, the value of this function is one. So this is the graph of absolute value you should remember after this point.
this is the graph of a square root function as you can see that is start from zero and there is nothing uh, to the left side because this function is undefined when x is negative okay this is called cubic root function this is your reciprocal function one over x so now in this example Oh, this is our example one okay in this example we need to sketch the graph of basic function having the indicated restricted domain so we want to use a graph of a square root function if you remember the square root function this is the graph but instead of starting from zero we would like to start from one not including one so if you go back here zero is here one is here and then keep going so the graph would start from here but not including one so graph to you know find out the exact point what you can do it x y x comma y at one the value would be one but we are not including this one one because that is not included so you just have to make a circle there and right after that find out some other points for example let's say when x is four the value of y would be two four two two three four two and then when you join these points just think about the you know graph of basic uh, function square root of x the same nature and maybe two points are enough for you or maybe you need three four five points it's up to you the graph of basic function with the restricted domain is given to the right so we have given them for the graph write down the domain so domain means you need to find out the x values from what point to what point graph is going graph is uh, expanding on the x-axis so as you can see that graph starts here which is negative 3 this dark circle means it's included and open circle means it's not included so the graph is going from negative 3 to positive 3 on the x-axis that's why the domain is domain is from negative 3 to positive 3 not including positive 3 but including negative 3 uh, so define the function using an inequality express the restricted domain remember this is a you know a portion of graph of a standard uh, basic graph so we can just go back and check so we can just compare okay it looks like this this one right so this is the graph of x cube but the x is coming from here which means greater or equal to negative 3 and going up to positive 3 not including positive 3 so this is the graph of cubic function where the domain is restricted from negative 3 to positive 3 piecewise function means uh, you know function that are defined by a rule that has more than one piece so if we try to use more than one function and combine them and define a new function that's called piecewise function for example let's say absolute value of x uh, the way we define absolute value of x it's a piecewise function because to the left of x to the left of zero and to the right of zero there are two different linear function and we're combining them and we're defining new function that's why it's called piecewise function you might see or you might uh, you know um, when doing the homework problem or you know later you might see you know we could combine any of this function in different domain to make a piecewise function okay